When Joseph came close, they caught him and threw him into a dry well. In the meantime, they speculated about how to kill him. They were still discussing the matter when Ishmaelite traders passed them by. These traders transported goods for sale from one country to another. Judah, Joseph's oldest brother. Judah, Joseph's oldest brother. Joseph's oldest brother. Joseph's oldest brother. Judah, Joseph's oldest brother. Joseph's oldest brother. Joseph's oldest brother. Hello there, I'm Aiden, and welcome to A Pastor's Life For Me. I hope you enjoyed that intro. It was nice to do another one of those again. But as you saw, I was reading this children's book to my children, and I noticed them make this statement. Judah, Joseph's oldest brother. This book is not alone in this mistake, and I hear this quite often, which is, I think, one of the reasons why it's become one of my pet peeves. Another place where this happens is in the DreamWorks movie, Joseph, a King of Dreams, in which his brothers say, Are you saying that Joseph belongs above all of us, even Judah? Judah's led the herd for years. Brought in the wheat, raised the tents, he comes first before any of us, especially Joseph. Now, it's not like they're saying he's the oldest directly, but they're kind of saying that he's the oldest. Why would the brothers band together and say, well, Judah is the one who is going to get the firstborn inheritance and blessing, when at this time in their lives, this would not have been the case at all. These are just two examples, but I hear this over and over and over again, that Judah is the firstborn son of Jacob. And if you haven't gathered already, Judah's not the firstborn nor is he even the second born, nor the third born. Judah's actually the fourth child. He's the fourth son of Leah and the fourth son of Jacob. So if Judah's actually the fourth born, why do people keep making this mistake about Judah being the oldest? Well, the answer is quite simple. It's because Judah gets the right as the firstborn. So if Judah gets the firstborn inheritance and blessing, it therefore follows in our minds for not thinking about it that Judah is indeed the firstborn. So if Judah got this, then why didn't Reuben, who is the firstborn, get it? Or another direction we could go is, why didn't Joseph get it? Joseph was the favorite son of Jacob because Joseph was the son of Rachel, the woman who Jacob actually loved. So why didn't Joseph get the firstborn blessing and why didn't Reuben get the firstborn blessing? It would seem that either one of these two should be the one who would get it. Well, let's start with Joseph. Why didn't Joseph get this blessing? Well, actually he did. That is, he got a portion of it. In Genesis 48, Jacob perceives that he is close to dying, so he calls Joseph and his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, to him so that he might bless them. In this account, we see that Jacob blesses Joseph's younger son, Ephraim. It is in this blessing to Ephraim where Jacob passes on the land promise onto Ephraim, which was part of the firstborn blessing. So Joseph was in fact part of this blessing as of the firstborn. It was just done directly to Ephraim. Now this clarifies things up a little bit. It doesn't explain why Joseph didn't get all of it. And it most certainly doesn't explain why Reuben didn't get it. And if not Reuben, why didn't Simeon get it? And if not Simeon, why didn't Levi get it? Why did go all the way to the fourth born, Judah, who did get it. Well, if you continue on in Genesis 49, Jacob calls the rest of his sons to him to bless them. He starts off with Reuben and he says, Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might and the first fruits of my strength, preeminent in dignity and preeminent in power. Now it starts off with Jacob praising Reuben, it seems. And after this, you would expect Jacob to then relay the blessing onto Reuben after giving this description, but Jacob doesn't. Instead, he says, Unstable as water, you shall not have preeminence, because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it, he went up to my couch. Jacob passes over Reuben for the blessing because Reuben slept with Bilhah, Jacob's concubine. 
which it recounts in Genesis 35, 22. Since Reuben defiled the bed of Jacob, Jacob rejects Reuben from receiving the firstborn blessing. Well then, the blessing should then go on to Simeon, who is the secondborn, right? And if not Simeon, then after that, Levi. However, when Jacob comes unto them to bless them, we see him say instead, Simeon and Levi are brothers. Weapons of violence are their swords. Let my soul come not into their counsel. O my glory, be not joined to their company. For in their anger they killed men, and in their willfulness they hamstrung oxen. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Jacob is referring to the events that take place in Genesis 34 with the defiling of Dinah. After a prince of a different area raped Dinah, we see that Simeon and Levi slaughtered all the men of that area upon tricking them. At the end of this, Jacob is angry with Simeon and Levi because Jacob feels now his name will be a stench to all the surrounding nations and people. The brothers' response were that they were just protecting the honor of their sister. Jacob's point in Genesis 49 is that in their wrath, they killed many people instead of just the man who was responsible. The reason why Simeon and Levi didn't just kill the one man, but all the men, was because if you just killed the prince, in essence, you're declaring war with the entire people who would then come upon you and attack you. By tricking them and wiping out all the men, you stop this problem from happening. But Jacob is not pleased, so he passes over Simeon and Levi for the firstborn blessing. So then it moves on to Judah. And Judah has not done anything wrong in the eyes of Jacob to be rejected. So Judah, as the fourthborn, gets the majority of the firstborn blessing. In which Jacob says, Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stood down, crouched as a lion, and as a lioness, who dares rouse him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. The blessing that Jacob gives onto Judah is the blessing of rule, which later becomes the blessing of kingship. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. So Judah is given the blessing of rule over all of his brothers, whereas Ephraim is given the land promise. So we see Jacob divide the firstborn blessing, and this clears up the reason why Judah is so often mistaken as the firstborn when he's actually not. That's all for today. I'll stop there. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word. But as always, we do it in love.